二零二二年第三十六条题目咧就承接住第三十五条啦。而家我哋重复实验，就利用翻咧同一个嘅装置啦。除咗啦，成个装置咧，我哋嘅容易咧就变咗做四十度啦。嗱，头先咧系二十五度，而家咧就四十度啦。咁下面啊 A、B、C、D 边一幅图啦，系能够正确咁样显示得到嗰个液面嘅变化咧？咁今次我哋淨係睇 set up one 嘅啫，裝置一嘅啫。我哋睇返第三十五條本身嘅答案先啦。咁其實呢，我哋要睇嘅呢就係藍色嘅呢一條曲線啦，就係裝置一嘅，就係喺二十五度嘅情況底下，佢就係呈現住呢個方法呢去下降嘅。咁呢個題目啦，考我哋啲乜嘢呢？第一啦，就係、是、又睇下有咩因素係會影響到滲透嘅速率呢？今次我哋研究嘅呢就係温度啦，因為啦，成條題目就係講緊由二十五度去到四十度啊嘛，暖咗啊嘛，係咪？由於啦，我哋嘅答案呢係基於三十五條嘅，咁所以啦 ，C 同 D 呢又可以 say goodbye 啦，因為佢哋兩個呢都係上升㗎嘛，係咪？啊，係得 A、B、C 下降嘅啫嘛，咁我哋順便又温下書啦。温度呢個因素對於滲透啊、擴散啊有咩影響呢？高啲温度嘅時候啦，粒子咧有多一啲嘅動能啦，就可以互相相撞得頻密一啲，就會導致到咧擴散嘅速率就會增加。同樣情況，滲透嘅速率都會增加。咁所以你見到咧 A 同 B 其實都係嘅，四十度之後咧係跌快咗嘅，啊係跌快咗嘅，啊快啲咧去到終點嘅，就只係爭在啦，死啦 ！A 呢度又叫終點。B 呢度又叫終點，只係爭在啦。大家係最後尾係結合咗啊，定係大家仍然係分開咧？咁兩者就只係講緊啦，佢會唔會跌翻落去同樣嘅 liquid level 啊？定還是會跌多啲咧？咁呢一度咧就考第二個概念啦，就係、是、有關於滲透嘅平衡啦。咩嘅概念呢？嗱，睇返整個裝置啊，我哋呢就畫一個好簡單嘅圖畫。我哋啦，而家呢就將佢分開返先啦。一邊呢就係兩個 percent 嘅蔗糖濃度，另一邊呢就係十個 percent 嘅蔗糖濃度啦。咁我哋根據返滲透嘅定義啦，咁自不然啦有一個正向嘅水嘅移動啦，咁啊由一個高一啲嘅。水勢嘅地方就去到一個低一啲嘅水勢啦，係嘛？可以落山咁高去低啦。咁只係爭在落到幾時就完呢？我用一個好簡單嘅數字去理解啦。係咪一一升一跌嘅話呢，到頭來啦，其實嗱，大家加埋十二啊嘛，係咪？咁我其實嗱，我就當啦，一邊去到六個 percent， 另一邊都係去到六個 percent， 係咪已經平等咗啦？就即係話冇咗一個正向移動噶咯喎，兩邊水勢呢，其實應該已經一樣咯喎，因為佢哋嘅濃度已經一樣啦嘛，係咪？所以啦，我哋係唔會出多咗水嘅，係講緊啲水能夠快啲出到去，從而啦就導致到一個平衡嘅狀態出現，所以答案呢就係 A 啦。Question thirty six is follows the experiment in question thirty five. If the experiment was repeated with the same setting, except the solutions were forty degrees Celsius, which of the following graph covariance shows the change in the liquid levels of setup one at different temperatures? So refer question thirty-five. The answer is B. The change of the liquid level should be like this. The liquid level was dropping, right? Therefore, we can say goodbye to option C and D because for these two is still increasing. And for this question, is checking out the concept about the factor. This question, we are talking about the temperature. How does it affect the rate of the osmosis? So let's do some revision about the factor affecting the rate of osmosis. For the temperature, at higher temperatures, particle have more kinetic energy and collide with each other more frequently, and this results in a high rate of diffusion or osmosis. Because for osmosis case, the water molecules they will have more kinetic energy and collide with other water molecules more frequently, and it makes the osmosis to takes place faster. And then you can see that oh, for these forty degrees Celsius, they really drop faster, high with higher rate. However, for these two graphs, the difference is about the end point. So for option A, they have the same liquid level, but for the option B, with a higher temperature, the liquid level drops more than that in the twenty-five degrees Celsius, and this part it shows us the concept about the final equilibrium after osmosis. When will the osmosis stop? The osmosis will stop when the both sides in the dust tubing 
the water potential is the same. We have the differentially permeable membrane on one side, 2% sucrose solution, the other side, 10% sucrose solution. And then we know that for the 2% sucrose solution, they have a higher water potential. And then for the 10% sucrose solution, it has a lower water potential. And with the water potential gradient, there will be a net movement of water molecules from a region of higher water potential to a region of lower water potential. However, is that will there be more water going out of the Dallas tubing when there is a higher temperature? And the, is what I'm saying? And the answer is no. And the reason is that when will the osmosis stop? As what I mentioned, osmosis will stop when both sides of the water potential is the same. That means evenly distributed, an equilibrium state. For example, 2%, 10% the, of the sucrose solution, when will they have the same water potential? When both of them have the 6% sucrose solution, and then the water potential will be the same. So with a higher temperature, it just makes the osmosis occur faster and make the solution quickly attain the equilibrium state. So the answer, it should be A. They should have the same endpoint at the end of the experiment.